What's up, guys, and welcome back to another Grub and Talk podcast. Your mom's favorite podcast. Exactly. <laughs> and with us today, we have... I'm the Juan and only... Frankie. My name is Alexandria. My name is Andy, like Toy Story. <laughs> <laughs> so, the other... <laughs> so the other day, I was watching Zombieland, right? And whenever I watch like a zombie-related film, I always put myself in the situation and see like what would I do if something like that were to happen like what locations would I go to what would I need you know to like survive it mm. do you guys ever put yourself in like that situation and think of anything that you guys might do like in a zombie apocalypse in a zombie apocalypse oh wow all the time yeah, yeah especially with, like the, the coronavirus going on you know maybe it's not this one it might be the next yeah. one yeah. that's gonna cause that zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so like maybe it's this one I'm hoping. Hey, don't out. don't say that, man. Nah, don't but dude, this wait, because I'm not ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not Bro, prepared. But, this but dude, I'm the coronavirus prepared. is you know it's an influenza though. You know it's not like the type of virus that you know causes mm. you know like that could cause the. Well, you don't know. Maybe you can adapt and it can get better. You then, mean like mutate? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, mutate. <laughs> oh, I, I learned these words when I took microbiology. So. <laughs> 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 Didn't you say you went to like a convention one time or something? Oh, it was like this little seminar they had back at my old university. It was literally like titled "How to Survive a, a Zombie Apocalypse." Oh, wow. like you mean like it was, like they had a seminar on it? It was like a little like one hour, two hour seminar, like kind of sponsored by by the CDC and the LA County Department of Health. Like basically, it was you know about any type of disaster, but zombies was one of them. Like they gave us a whole you know like guide for for LA County, you know like what to do in an emergency and that, what not to do. In fact, I even brought a little something for you guys just to show you that, you know, this isn't science fiction. The government legitimately is prepared for an apocalypse. This is You're an kidding. They gave you a pamphlet? This is an actual comic pamphlet from the CDC. Like, the same fan fiction. Wow. You wanna check it I out? mean... That's cool. Man. Yeah. If you guys want to just check it out. Well, that's a little story. So, like, yeah, what, do they do, book. what do they do in the meeting? They just went... They just, like... We just went over some, like, basic, you know, survival stuff and whatnot. And like how the plan, like the government actually does have a plan. It's a CONOP 8888. It was made by the Department of Defense April 30th, 2011. We need to update it. And do you know, you know how like they have all those, um, the doom days. Yeah. Preppers. Mm -hmm. Were any of those there? No, it was just like, like there wasn't that many people <laughs> there. I mean, it was like at three o'clock. I barely went because I was like tired that day. Do you guys know anybody who's like a doom day prep? Like they have a like yeah, hidden basement or my like... best friend's parents. Oh wow. So they, they just have like a they have like an extra room just full of a shit ton of food, like water for like days. Is it like those sand. big is it like those big like uh containers? Oh okay. like with water and like the barrels. No, they, they got like they got twenty four packs. Oh, twenty four. Like, it's like a store in there. Like they just have like oh, like a storage room. Of yeah, like wow. a storage room just full of like uh, ten years worth of food and shit. And they have guns and shit. And, like so, like a panic room in yeah. a way. Uh, not for them to hide in there. It's for them to like just take that shit and go in the woods. Like they yeah. have equipment to like live in the woods and shit. So oh, damn. Oh, damn. must look like a Costco in there. Because well, they're like they're like uh, my my best friend's stepdad, his dad, mm -hmm. his parents are like lunatic white people like like oh hey, we're gonna die soon like doomsday like oh it's my coming. gosh so, like, like they got guns yeah and yeah oh. so like, like that show yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. They like, like that show, show. So yeah. then my uh best friend's stepdad grew up with those type of parents so he came he became like that too so uh, okay. he got married to my best friend's mom uh-huh they implemented that shit so they have little kids too so like they're hella like fucking oh we got this this and that and this and this and they're like it's gonna happen i'm telling you america's going to shit blah, blah. i'm like all right for oh. sure bro yeah. oh. They're like hella prepared though. Yeah. I go with them for sure. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> yeah. on them? Honestly, like I've thought about it, but I don't know. I feel like I'm not really a fighter. I think I would be in like that situation if it happened. But as of right now, like I feel like I would die. Like honestly, guys, I would die. <laughs> See, I've been thinking about it. And, like one thing is like the place I would go to would be their Costco or Bass Pro Shop. That's what Costco. I was saying. Yeah. On top of Costco, you could yeah. just yes. hop up there and just jack the shit from downstairs. Get the guns. Exactly. Just get everything they have. No. You're smart. I'd go with Dude. you. See, <laughs> either that or I would go to a big five because you know they got all the essentials, the camping stuff. They yeah, got that food, the I, guns. The thing that I was thinking about big five though is like there's glass windows. Oh, Costco you're right. It's just a cement building. It's so a cement building. It's just the harder windows. to get yeah. into. But they Dude, have, and if you get cold, they have pellets. They have the the fire pit. They got, they got you got you got it all there. <laughs> Bro, come to think of it, they even got the restrooms there. So, you know, like, you know, just put water in there and it'll flush. Now, the big question is, do you guys know how to shoot a gun? Have you ever shot a gun before? Yes, I have. Okay. I have. So, you, you would be, like, comfortable with that? 
Definitely. Oh, awesome. I, I shoot those motherfuckers like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, me as well. I know how to shoot a gun, so. Same here. Oh, yeah. It's been years. I know how to shoot, like, an air, the only thing I shot was, like, an airsoft gun, but that's about <laughs> it. Oh, wait, no, I actually saw a handgun in Texas. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course it was Texas. Yeah. The airsoft <laughs> would be, like, imagine the airsoft, but, like, when every single time you shoot, it's like someone punches you in the, like. Yeah, it's, it's loud. Like someone punches yeah. you in the shoulder, yeah, so if, you feel like, like that. Yeah, if you, guys have, adrenaline, yeah I bet. if you guys have never shot a yeah, gun before, it, it is loud. It is loud. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of course, though. That's, like, 130 decibels, like, yeah. minimum I shot, right I shot there. a grenade launcher one time mm-hmm. in the military. Oh, oh, oh that's, that's true. like, I didn't have my position right. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So when I shot that bitch. It, like, forced you back. Uh, I fucking. Oh, <laughs> oh <dang. laughs> I was like, I almost ate shit. My dressing room oh was like, gosh. what are you doing, oh. private? Hold it like this. And I held it like that. But every single time I would hold it and shoot it, it was like a big old dildo shit that, they, that we would shoot. But instead of it blowing up like an explosion, it would blow up into colors. It'd be like powder color, like, like either like orange powder and it just fucking blow up like a big ass cloud of like fucking color. Oh, you know, like those. Oh, like rounds? a smoke. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Um, Wait, um, smoke grenade kind of? No, because you, have you ever had like those those color ones where they throw like fucking colors at you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like that, that powder, right? Yeah, yeah sure. so like when it blows up, it's just like like a big ass mushroom cloud of like yeah. fucking But paint. why would they have it a color though? Wouldn't you like want it not visible? No, because what if a kid fucks up and then blows everybody oh, up? Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah. It's better okay. to get shot with a dildo. A dildo. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a dildo. Oh, it's like, I mean, keep in mind, these are a bunch of, you know, like I assume, you know, 18, 19. Yes, they like are. Training, you know, Some that's of them true. fuck up. I, I was When I was over there, it happened to me, but at the range next to me, some like kid shot someone in the leg at the firing range by accident. <laughs> Shit is fucked up. Aww. Yeah, you're supposed to trust these people, and you just got shot in the leg. So, do you think like your your like skills and like serving like would help you out a lot? Not really. I no. Mean, nah, it's whatever it is. I feel like you have, just have to be like a confident human being. You know, you don't need no training like that. I guess it'll help me out with the weapons, but mm-hmm. how am I gonna get military grade weapons? That's you know? true. Yeah. So, like, yeah. I'm going to have to shoot basic shit. Like, I'm not going to be able to shoot M4A1s and shit. So, like, I'm not used to shooting anything else that's not military. So, it wouldn't really help me. But I would mm-hmm. I, I would know, you know, about gun safety and, like, what to do and, like, how to clean my gun. I would know that shit, you know. But yeah. shooting it, nah. I, I wouldn't know how to shoot anything that's not military, you know. So, yeah. And then keep in mind, too, like, you got to make sure you know how to, you know, use the guns and reload fast. Because, you know, if those things are loud, I mean, if there's a few zombies, it's okay. But if there's a lot of them, they're all going to be attractive. You know how often your gun will jam? You're going to be. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've heard those stories. Oh, man. I know how to unjam an M4A1, but I don't know how to unjam a shotgun or anything else, so oh. we have to learn. <laughs> and this is why I stick with handguns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? No, and what I was thinking, too, is, like, getting a bus and mm-hmm. modifying it. So, like, on the sides, putting chainsaws so that you can just run across them and just cut them. Oh. That's some Dead you know? Rising Kinda type like, stuff right there. Wow. You got to right. take inspiration from the movies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Dude, you got to get creative with it, because at I the end... I was thinking of just oh, going dang. fucking batshit crazy and going up to, like, um, Newport Beach and just jacking a McLaren or some shit. And then putting, like, a bunch of, like, spikes in the front and, like, just shit everywhere. So, like, just fucking zoom by those fucking zombies and just kill everything. Even if it's not a zombie, just fucking zoom by because, like, there's not going to be any law. Dude, you know what would be good? The Cybertruck. Dude. Yeah. Or, like, a tank like they do in The Walking Dead. Have you seen that? No, I haven't. Oh, I haven't seen The Walking Dead either. With the governor, right? They go on, like, a tank. Really? Yeah. And and then uh, they, um... Mm. Oh, no, continue. Sorry, I just oh. thought <laughs> no, no, but it's pretty cool. Like, I think a tank would be like very safe, yeah. Like, yeah. I would feel safe in that, but Ooh. honestly, I think like at the start of the apocalypse, I would probably like go in a bunker or something. Where, uh, like an underground bunker, where? you know, bu- <laughs> that's the thing, yeah, you know, where, where they're, they're at, at. yeah, like, like, exactly. Yeah, this yeah, ain't, that's this the ain't thing. fucking that's fallout. Yeah. Costco yeah. is the place to yeah. go, <laughs> but bro, how many other p- you're thinking about you're in an urban area, how many other people are gonna want to go to Costco, bro? I think saying, everybody would go to Costco. Well, I mean, honestly. it's better like, to work in teams and work by yourself as long true. as you're not infected. I mean, well, so you would here. you would like have how many people in your group? I don't give a fall have as many people as I can keep alive as long as they, I can use them as shields and shit to run yeah. away. Like, <laughs> human shield. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be selfish, but I'm also gonna carry. You know, it's like the survival, but also like humanitarian at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would get one of those like big ass like white person small dick like diesel trucks. <laughs> I <laughs> and just drive those motherfuckers like the zombies ain't oh gonna get God. me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Bro. Bro, or one of those or one of those Sikemaka trucks. Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know, but yeah. One of the ones with the huge ass rims with like a bunch of knives yeah, or something. I, I'd, get like, I'd get a bunch of like either like rape vans, like those 12 people vans or whatever, and stock up like fucking food and like just drugs and alcohol and just a bunch of shit and then just go to the fucking like mountains <laughs> or the desert 
and then just fucking post up, and then when I run out, go back and like kill people and get shit. You feel me? I mean, oh, I see. Just kill oh, people, okay, like, it dies down. Yeah, just kind of go would, back and forth. I think I would do that too. Like if I found an yeah, underground yeah. bunker or somewhere safe, I would stay there and like have supplies. Well, the only place you could just have keep... it. Oh my, God, continue my bad. No, I'm but just add... just keep like getting stuff as you need it. The only place you'll find something close to an underground bro- bunker is like a Jiffy Lube or a Vaveline because they have the underground for working on the cars. Oh, that's, oh, true. that's the only place you'll be able to be on the yeah, ground. Or my neighbor's so house. I was thinking about going to like a Jiffy Dude, Lube. Or like, yeah, or like if you yeah. know where like old World War like bomb shelters yeah, are. Like, yeah. There was like the show that I saw that they have bunkers, but they're selling them at like a premium price because they're like oh, all shit. bougie yeah. and they have Wi Fi. Yeah, they have like uh, all this stuff. Like American Horror Story. They're just have making it all no. bougie now. Oh, there's the American Horror Story Apocalypse one where they, it's kind of like that. It's oh, like I've the apocalypse like, and it's and they have like these bunkers. It's like you pay millions of dollars to get your place. Yeah, but they're like super furbished though. Yeah. But I feel like, I don't know, maybe there's a secret society oh. doing that. I don't hey, know. Hey, we're getting into like some fallout stuff. Right <laughs> yeah. Now. <laughs> you, know, like, the you know, down by the elite are going to be safe while we're out here suffering and shit because they got money. Uh, yeah, they yep. got money to afford all of that. Meanwhile, we'll be like in Costco or in the desert. <laughs> See, I, I, think that, for our lives. I think a zombie apocalypse would be fun because you could just do illegal shit like... What's stopping me from just running people over? Right. I mean, not regular people. I'm talking about zombie people, you know? But, like, mm-hmm. what's going to stop me from just fucking running them over or, like, fucking shooting them in the head? Like, you could just release a horde of them overpowering you. <laughs> but, you see, the thing is, when we have, like, level one zombies, like, that's when you could have fun. But then as the zombie outbreak continues and they start to mutate and we get those, like, fucking, like... You mean the World War Z ones where they're just... Yeah, the, the ones that run fast or the ones from, like, Resident oh, no, Evil that are, like, buff would, as fuck. Oh, hey, Once we like get the, those, no, that's yeah. when I'm going to start hiding. But, like, when there's, like, I normal hope, ones, I'm, not, I'm just going to fucking shoot them and, like, just have fun and, like, enjoy the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> i probably still get high every day, too. Like, I wouldn't give a fuck, but I just can't die. Capture a zombie just to make him get high? What if we could cure the zombie apocalypse? That's like oh, a solution. My oh my that god! That is a you possibility. Got, you gotta smoke out all the zombies. You never, you never huh. know. I mean, you smoke weed <laughs> hey, around a zombie and he becomes normal again. It's like, oh, so weed cured you? Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's let's go save people. Yeah. Let's go <laughs> smoke everybody out. Um. Yeah. I was gonna ask. Um. Oh, this is a fucked up question. So I. I but it. I need honest responses. Go okay. for it. If y'all had a sibling or a family member that you fuck with heavy turn into a zombie, would you capture them and release them in the wild or would you fucking pop them? Ooh. Like, would you just leave them in the desert and just fucking dip and like never, just, just hope Honestly? they're alive and leave them alone or would you mm. kill them and be like, fuck it, like, you're not who you are no more. You're a fucking zombie. I, th- I think I would like talk beforehand like, hey guys, like, you know, what if one of us gets infected? Oh, yeah. I think like I would talk beforehand and like make a plan. Like, yeah. But pretty, I'm pretty sure like I would agree. Like, you know, to put just, them out of their misery. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, I would feel like bad if they were out there, and then Whoa. like I'm walking around, and then I see them in the zombie, and they're like chasing me. I'm like, hell yeah. no. <laughs> or run the risk of you know trying to maybe keep them tied up or something, and then they yeah. get loose, yeah. and you lose more people in mm-hmm. your group. Yeah, that's true. What if like they just got bit? Right, and you're still trying to save them, and still with your posse. What do you just like, be like, yo? Oh, like, doesn't that happen? It's in like every, amputations. Because like that's how there's like a movie. Isn't that like in World War? Yeah, yeah. Chop a person's hand off, and like, oh, they're fine yeah. for a while. You know, but, it's really yeah. hard to cut through a bone like that. Yeah. Like, like in World War Z, they make it look so easy, but actually, you have to have like a big saw, chainsaw like, or some shit. Yeah. Super heavy duty diamond bladed and. <laughs> <laughs> I know World War Z. Why don't you just break their bone? Like, step on that bitch and break it, and then cut it off. That's, that be oh, that's faster. true. Yeah, it's way faster. But, but, just fucking yeah. have them like this. Just like, hold on. Have someone have them like this and just fucking j- have someone jump and just fucking <laughs> break that bitch. And- <laughs> oh, careful. You're going to knock off. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, but would you guys risk that or were you just like... I'd try it, bro. If it's like my brother or my mom or like my cousin or someone that I give a fuck about, w- what am I going to lose trying that shit? I mean, if they end up turning into a zombie, fuck it. Like, I'm going to tell them, like, yo, if you turn into a zombie, I'm popping you. Like, you're not you no more. It's like, all right. So, but... It's worth a shot, you feel me? Yeah, I would do the same thing, but I'll just like keep them like quarantined on. Yeah, like, get, the fuck, get over just there. Just to make sure, you Put know. Put them on a chain and shit. Like, like we're still family, sleeping but, in it. You yeah, know? yeah, and then like, 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 ah! <laughs> I think that's like the worst fear. Like, the worst fear would be if it outbreaks like while you're sleeping. You, mm-hmm. you know, it's so Whoa. out of the sudden, all of a sudden. Well, he reminded me of fucking uh, Zombieland 1 when he's with that cute ass girl. She just got bit and he's like, he doesn't know. Remember in the beginning? Uh, yeah. He's like, I, I don't got water, but I got like red fucking Mountain Dew. And she's like, all right. And like, he, she's drinking that shit. And like, they fall asleep on each other and he's happy. And he wakes up to that bitch being a zombie. And he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's just crazy. Wild. Oh, by the way, these are bomb long. 
Um, you hooked it up <laughs> some some oh, little wow. gummy bears from Mexico. Yeah, yeah. What what if? Okay, so another good place. So to here's hide another scenario, popular. right? Mexico. Mm-hmm. So say you're with this girl, right? You're like say you're with your girl, whatever. Blah 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 blah. You have a girl, and it's a zombie apocalypse, and then out there you guys are out there trying to survive and then you see like that one girl that got away that was like you're fucking the one for you and shit Mm -hmm. and then your girl gets bit Mm -hmm. would you kill your girl and go with her would you fucking save your girl what would you do do we have a choice well yeah he's asking (laughs) yeah you do what would you do when that (laughs) oh i mean if somebody's already like like do you know she's gonna turn like for sure you don't know you you can save her and and be with her and you know be on some like lovey-dovey shit you'd be like nah bitch i'm done with you and then go with the one that got away (laughs) 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 it's your choice i mean the moment i try to you know say both of them you know i mean the more people you have regardless if you're lovers or not you know you're gonna have fucking triangle drama (laughs) <laughs> you are you're gonna have the fucking three way love then just, then just pop both of them if they get annoying oh, <laughs> we don't have time for drama in the apocalypse they're not even zombies <laughs> they're not even gonna be zombies you're gonna pop I know who not to get angry uh, that's the walking death shit right there what about, what yeah, about you would you would you try to save your girl or be with the other well, one well I mean if she's already bitten you know most of the time might as well right you just know? fucking leave her ass yeah be like I'm sorry it's like, mercy oh, hey, killing this because we gotta repopulate we can't do that with the zombie you know? yeah, yeah fuck no you gotta keep the human species going you know what I'm saying? Get those exactly. Genes. See, he knows what I'm saying. What mm-hmm. about you? Honestly, I don't have someone that got away. So, I what your scenario would be? <laughs> but if, yeah, then if. probably not. Cause okay, let me give her a different nah, scenario. I wouldn't. Your scenario would be, um, do you have a boyfriend right now? Yeah. Okay. It'd be the guy of your dreams or fucking your boyfriend. Who would you say? Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, fuck. Hey, if you watching this, <laughs> bro. bro. No offense, no offense, bro. This is just bro. like a scenario. You're going to get that angry I, DM. I, I was still, uh, <laughs> you're like, what are you trying to do? I'm about to fuck you up. No, I, I, would, I, would, I, would still, I would still, I would still like go with my boyfriend. Like, Really? Yeah. Even if it's like the love of your life or unless that guy's the love of your life? I don't know. Should her boyfriend be the love of her it. life though? No, not a boyfriend, homie. Maybe like a husband like, or some shit. Oh, you mean like, like, um, like a, like a dream guy or whatever? Yeah, like literally oh, okay. the perfect guy that you fucking want versus your boyfriend. Who would you go for in a zombie apocalypse? No offense, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would go. I would. I would go for my boyfriend because, like, I mean, a dream guy is like you know, like you right, have, like a celebrity safe. crush, mm-hmm. or whatever. Like you don't know them. It's just like, oh, you know. Well, like, they're your dream person. They're ideally they are what you are, like want in a person. Like everything that you want mm. in a person is there. That's why they're called a dream person. So like personality, fucking all the character traits. Uh, yeah, but in that hobby. short time, how are you gonna know their personality? Yeah, like, hey, that's 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 a fucking scenario. All right, okay, you know man, what? but I'm logical, so I... <laughs> yeah, we're all right, all right. remember we're logical. We're not okay, about that. okay. What about um, we're not fake news? <laughs> <laughs> There's another scenario. Ready? You gotta save either your mom. Or your dad, who would you save? Are they both basic or or question? No, like there's a zombie in the room. They're both in the room. Say a zombie breaks into their room, Uh and you only have time to save one because you know by the time you go in there, the zombie's gonna bite one person. Who the fuck would you save? Do I have a gun? Yes. So you can shoot the zombie and then talk to your whoever gets bit after. You can still talk to them, but you know they're gonna be turned into a zombie. You know. Okay, well, I mean, I'll do whatever I can to save them. Both of them? Yeah. Yeah, Both yeah, of them. And then yeah. if somebody yeah. gets bit, then we'll just go from that point. But like, yeah. I agree with Frankie. Well, like, yeah, I'll, I'll quarantine like, you that's until... That's until yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you have an option, right? Like, say the zombie's going to your fucking parents and they're both like in the corner, like, scared mm-hmm. as fuck, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And you're like, fuck, if I shoot on this side, he's going to get... Mike. Uh, so who, okay. I'm saying, like, who, you have to choose a parent. Who would you choose? Because you kind of avoided the question. This guy won't do that. Basically, yeah, I'm just trying to save everybody. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna get the answers like someone's gonna say oh i'm gonna choose my mom over my dad yeah. you're, not gonna, yeah, you're not gonna get that you're not gonna get that answer on the spot <laughs> it's, Come on. it's more like it would be like the moment, in the like, moment like, yeah like, like, i feel like it would be in the moment mm-hmm. you'd have to choose and of course like you would choose like yeah that's what i'm trying to give you a real last scenario like would yeah. you choose your mom or your dad well because realistically what i would go ahead and do is like i'll try to put run up to the zombie just push him down and then shoot him or even yeah. just trip him you know you know that would be like my yeah. thing to do and then see yeah, let, the let consequences me, he left me, behind okay okay check this out <laughs> you're in your room sleeping you have your gun on your desk you hear your parents fucking screaming like crazy you grab your gun and run into the room the first thing you see is your parents in the corner and there's a zombie approaching them so you would try to save both of them you shoot the zombie yeah but 
What I'm saying <laughs> is like, you think like when you you're in a, you're, you think in your head right now like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll just shoot the zombie. But in a real scenario like that, you're oh, gonna be going you. through so much yeah. shit. Okay, like, I get you. what would you what would be the first thing to come through your mind? Would you be like, oh, I gotta save my mom, I gotta save my dad, or shoot the zombie, or or shoot the window and push him out the window? Like, you don't know, like depending well, on right. the shit. Like, I, like, I feel to throw. like like say like your parents were like how Frankie and I are close to each other yeah. right now. Like that's how yeah, like in the you're, corner. So yeah. they're right close to each other. Yeah. Then my instinct would be to shoot, to shoot the, zombie. the zombie because they're together. So you really yeah. can't save one or the other yeah. because yeah. they're like close to together. Okay. So. And then what if you accidentally shoot your dad instead of like shooting the zombie? Oh. <laughs> well, at least it, well, I hope it's, it's in the arm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it better be in the leg or something. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, let's see. I guess. <laughs> Uh, another scenario where you should come up with a scenario. Who would you? Me? Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It'd yeah. be kind of fucked. It's like, if I live with my dad, so how am I going to save my mom if I'm not over there? But if I'm at my mom's house, I save my mom. If I'm at my dad's, I save my dad. If I'm not home, then fuck, I'm sorry. Like, I'll save myself. I don't know. I can't really... Like, I'll save whoever I can and but... you want us to give a direct answer yeah. <laughs> hey my parents are both like you know damn well my parents are not gonna be in the same room together like it's just not gonna be a thing so I can't really think of a scenario like that you know but if it was my mom and my stepdad I'd save my mom like any day I don't really I mean it's <laughs> yeah. we have an honest man over here honest man Andy yeah. yes Ooh, another question if your dog got infected and became a zombie would you shoot it yeah, yes. I would. Obviously. Oh wow, in a heartbeat, y'all say yeah, yeah that's fucked up. Yeah, I mean it's. I'm. He gotta go. He gotta go <laughs> because <laughs> one, he's quick. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do it. Nah. He's not like the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> zombie dog. Bro, my dogs are chihuahuas. Come on. Oh, uh, you just thought <laughs> those are just all barking, no bite. Yeah. So you're good. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's gonna be a zombie. All right, guys, and yeah. that's it for today. Hope Thank you guys. The show. Your mom did. <laughs> and make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And tell yeah. us what you would do in a zombie apocalypse. Even though we don't care. No, just hey, we do care. On, we do no, care. We don't care what you guys say. Hey, but if we, it were to happen, please, 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 please do not go to Costco. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we we want to get there first. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, if we if you like your response and the zombie apocalypse does happen, we won't shoot you on sight. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds like a good trade-off. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Bye, right. guys. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye. I'm a good